We all know that diabetes is a state wherein your blood glucose is more than 100 milligrams per dl in a simple blood test. And a full-blown diabetes is when your blood glucose is above 126. So anytime your blood glucose exceeds a level of 100, wherein your doctor may tell you that nothing, it's just a simple slight increase in blood glucose, please don't take it for granted. Because the earlier you check your diabetes in terms of blood glucose test, the earlier a diagnosis is made, the earlier we can intervene and prevent it from progressing. Now, unfortunately, the problem with diabetes is that it can remain asymptomatic for quite some time. Therefore, you won't know that you are getting one until it can be too late. So what then are some of the signs and symptoms that you have to watch out for to determine if your blood glucose is high, if you have diabetes, or if you're on certain medications that your blood glucose is presently uncontrolled and therefore needs to be addressed immediately. Let's watch this. Now, some of the earlier signs and symptoms of new onset diabetes, or if you have diabetes already and you don't know if it's uncontrolled, is when you start having the following symptoms. The increasing thirst, increasing urination, and increasing food intake. Now, let me explain to you in detail why this happens. Now, indications that you have diabetes or your blood glucose is way out of control are the following first. If you're hungrier than usual, but instead of gaining weight, you're losing weight. And therefore your friends are asking you, are you sick? Now, since your body is not utilizing sugar for energy, since your body is not producing enough insulin because you have diabetes and uncontrolled, then what happens is your body is not able to consume or get enough energy from the preferred source, which is glucose, because there's not much insulin. So what happens? The body instead turns to muscle and fat as a source of glucose or a source of energy. So when your body gets a source of energy for the from the stored fat and muscle, that is when you start your unintentional or unhealthy weight loss. And this is not a good sign to us endocrinologists because it signals that your pancreas that produces insulin is already failing and therefore you may need to be on insulin therapy. Now, once this breakdown of muscle and fat occurs, that is when you start feeling weak. So the second indication that you may be uh, having poor control of blood glucose or you may have developed diabetes is when you start feeling weak and suffering easy fatigability. Remember, the muscles during the state of uncontrolled sugar are not able to eat and therefore they don't get enough energy from sugar due to poor insulin action or no insulin being produced by the pancreas. And therefore, your body literally is deprived of food. Simply put, the sugar from food is staying in the blood. So when you have a blood glucose done, it's going to be high. This blood glucose is staying in the blood instead of being incorporated or utilized by the muscle for energy. Now, the third indication that you may have poor control of blood glucose or you may have diabetes is when you start waking up frequently at night and having frequent urination. Remember, high blood sugar makes you pee out the excess of glucose in the urine and with sugar comes water and therefore you tend to pee a lot. Now remember, this frequent urination because you're losing water a lot also results in frequent intake of water due to thirst. Now, another problem with regard to frequent urination is that it can also lead to dehydration, which 
can be another contributing factor to fatigue. Now, the fourth indication that you have poor control of glucose that is related to the third is that because of increasing urination with increasing glucose output, you're getting some urinary tract infections, including yeast infections, specifically among females, wherein they will also complain of frequent vaginal itching, which can be intractable. Remember, the yeast feeds off the glucose, and if your blood glucose is high, then there's more glucose in the urinary tract. Now, the fifth indication or things that you have to watch out for if you have diabetes is when you start having blurry vision. And usually this can result in frequent headaches. Now, you may notice some changes in the clarity of your vision. Literally, high blood glucose levels can lead to some changes in the lens of the eyes, including some changes in the shape of the lens, which can make it unable to properly focus resulting in blurred vision. Now, since there's a problem in focusing, and therefore one may suffer from frequent headaches. So this can be an indication for you to check whether you have high blood glucose or not. Now, sixth indication is when you start having scratches or some wounds that take time to heal. Diabetes, as we know, can also affect circulation, especially of the lower legs and feet, which can delay healing of the wound. And as a result, this can be very serious and can lead to infections. And intractable infections due to high blood glucose can lead to amputations of the foot. Remember, uncontrolled diabetes is the leading cause of amputation. Usually, this seventh indication is a precursor to non-healing wound because most of these patients will also develop the so-called neuropathy, when they suffer from tingling and numbness of both hands and feet. Now, remember, uncontrolled blood glucose has been shown to cause nerve damage manifested by tingling sensation and numbness in your hands and feet. Sometimes there is a, such a thing as a nerve pain, especially in the hands and feet, described as pins and little sensation, which can sometimes wake you up at night. And of course, when you start brushing your teeth, this eighth indication that you may have poor control of blood glucose that you should watch out for is when you start having painful and bleeding gums. Now, gum disease is one neglected complication that we usually don't look for among patients with diabetes. This indicates poor control of blood glucose. Now, once your blood sugar is high enough, then your saliva contains more glucose, which then feeds the bacteria that combine with food in your mouth. This will result in plaque formation that can cause gum disease. So over time, the gum starts to become red and inflamed and eventually tooth loss. So, so far I have described with you some of the indications that you have diabetes or some of the things that you have to watch out for if you're presently are on medications for diabetes but haven't had a chance to see your doctor for follow-up. These common things one needs to watch out for if, number one, you're at risk of developing diabetes or if you have high blood glucose and that you need to be aware of the symptoms because they signal poor control, that should be managed as soon as you can. Remember, a diagnosis of diabetes is very simple. It's a simple blood test called fasting blood sugar and a test called A1C that we usually get for those already on medications to make sure that we'll, they're well controlled in the past three months. Again, any fasting blood sugar above 100, specifically if it's above 99, like 99.1, 99.2, please see us because we can still prevent you from becoming diabetic or anytime your A1C is above 5.6. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.